What is up, guys? My name is Coriola, and welcome to episode number 14 of my Cincinnati Reds franchise here on Out of the Park Baseball 17. And for the first time in this series, the Cincinnati Reds are in the National League Division Series. We won the National League Central with 85 wins in 2020, and now we face the uh, NL West Division champions, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Without Clayton Kershaw, who is injured for the rest of this series at the least, their starting rotation staff isn't great. Their bullpen is solid with Batances, Ciszek, Rodriguez, and Leon. But what really scares me about this team is their lineup. <sighs> Garen Ciceni, Starlin Castro, Corey Seager, Yaziel Puig, Jock Peterson, Anthony Rizzo, Alex Gordon, and Christian Vasquez. This is not going to be a fun series for our pitching staff, but let's get into it. Game 1 versus the Dodgers. And I just forgot the Dodgers' name for a sec. One thing we have to do quickly, Seth Meisbreen is injured, so... Taylor Sparks will start at third base, and at second base will be uh I want to put actually wait what Sparks at second base thirty all right we'll put Sparks back to second base and put Blankenhorn in at third. Anthony Desclafani will be on the mound against. A pretty good lineup. God, I am just losing it today. I apologize. But let's get the game started. From Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles, the 89 win Dodgers host the 85 win Reds. The playoffs are underway. Hyunjin Ryu, Ryu, I think I butchered that name, will pitch against Ivan Hernandez. Hyun Jin Ryu, okay. The rookie Ivan Hernandez leading off for the Reds. The 1 0 pitch, ground ball right to Seeger. And in the first, nothing happening. Now in the bottom of the first, first and second with two outs for, Cor or for Jock Peterson, the pitch. Hits Jock Peterson. The bases are loaded for Anthony Rizzo. The 1 2 pitch to the first baseman. Ground ball to second. Sparks to first. Got him. And the inning is over. So the rookie makes the play, gets out of the inning. Still 0 0. And now, again, first and second with two outs. The 2 1 pitch to Castro. Ground ball to short. Mendoza to second. Inning over. So Disclafani's had a couple of rough innings. It looks like both of those were walks, or one air it looks like. But no runs through two for either team. And now, leadoff double by Corey Seager. The 0-2 pitch to Puig struck him out. Now it'll be Jock Peterson, 3-2 to the center fielder. Struck him out too. So back-to-back -back strikeouts for Disclafani. Now to Anthony Rizzo. The 3-2 pitch. Struck him out. And after the leadoff double, Anthony Desclafani strikes out the side. Nothing, nothing after three. And it's the Reds offense that needs to get going. It looks like a double by Kyle Tucker here with one out. Bring up Mitch Trees, the catcher. The 1-0 pitch. Fly ball, deep center field. Peterson makes the play. Tucker tags up at second. He goes to third. No, not contested. It'll be Drew Mendoza, the rookie, with two outs. And he's intentionally walked. So it'll be Anthony Desclafani. Can the Reds pitcher help himself out? The 1-2 pitch. Fly ball. Center field. Or left field. Gordon's got it. Inning over. Midway through the fifth. 0-0. Zero, zero. Now they have first and second with one out for Yasiel Puig. The 1-2 pitch. Ground ball left side. Mendoza has it to first. They weren't able to turn the double play. Puig is out. And now it'll be Jock Peterson. The 3-2 pitch. Two outs. Ball four. The bases are loaded for Anthony Rizzo. The 0-2 pitch to the Dodger first baseman. 
Ground ball to second. Sparks to the bag. Inning over. Five innings through. No runs have been scored. Tescafani's at 96 pitches, so it looks like after five innings, his day will be done. They have lefty, a righty, and a righty with a lefty following the next uh, half inning. So we will go with Tyler Matzik to pitch the sixth. And in case he gets in trouble, we'll warm up Scott Driggs. Or Griggs, not Driggs. Mea culpa. All right. Blankenhorn with a one-out double for Jesse Winker. The one, or the 0-1 pitch. Line drive right side. Rizzo makes the catch. And there are two outs for Brandon Doolin. The newly acquired first baseman from the Kansas City Royals. The pitch struck him out. Uh, inning over. We miss a good chance. Sorry if you heard me bump my mic. Two. Get a run, but nothing going. So we'll put in Matt Sick. If he gets in trouble, we will put Griggs in the game. Nothing going there. All right, this inning, we will put Griggs in. But we don't want to put him in now in case the pitcher spot comes up. See? All right, pinch hitting against the lefty Ryu. We'll go with... Uh. Brawlin Perez in for Tyler Matzik. All right, first and second, two outs. Pinch hitter Perez, 0-2 on him. Ryu's pitch, ground ball to third. Sachini, throw to first, got him inning over. All right, so Griggs will come into the game to face the heart or the top of this order. And he gets through it. So, eighth inning against that will put in Araldus Chapman. And see how that goes. So, top of the lineup here in the top of the eighth. And it's a two-run home run for Brett. <coughs> oh, my apologies. Brandon Doolin gives the Reds the lead in the top of the eighth inning with two outs. A two-run shot by the newly acquired first baseman. 75 power. He is so good. All right, inning over. Let's put in Chapman. Uh, anything going? Nothing. That means for the ninth. Yeah. Kelvin Herrera will face the order, and in case the pitcher spot comes up, we will substitute in Keenan Bell. Actually, just kidding, we'll substitute in Shane Martirosian. Okay. Anything going? Nothing. Herrera will enter the game as the pitcher. Three outs to go. He will face his former teammate, Alex Gordon. The 2-2 pitch. Eventually. Line drive. Winker. Fair ball. Gordon has a deep single. It'll be Christian Vasquez who will be pinch hit for by Rowdy Tellez. Just kidding. Gordon got a double. I don't... I thought it said a single. My bad. The 0-2 pitch struck him out swinging. So Gordon did double. Now it'll be Josh Rutledge pinch hitting. Or playing second base for the pitcher spot. Struck him out too. And that'll be Garen Sessini. With a w runner on second. Two outs. The one-two pitch. Fly ball. Left field. Winker's got it. And it's the Cincinnati Reds that take game one of the 2020 NLDS. Oh, the Cincinnati pitchers pitched out of trouble all night long. But it's the Cincinnati, or the Dodgers had chances all night long, but it's the Cincinnati Reds that come through and take game one. So if we finish today, it looks like the Marlins beat the Mets in game one. No surprise, the Marlins had the best record 
in the National League by a good seven games. Okay, game two. Yeah. Again, is my spring still hurt? He is. So we'll do the same thing. We will face AJ Cole today with Michael Lorenzen going for us. So we'll just put in Blankenhorn at third. Game two from Los Angeles. Let's go. Nothing in the first inning for either team. Oh, and it's a solo home run by Brandon Doolin that gives the Reds a one nothing lead. This guy. This guy. And Sparks gets a one-out double, so we have a runner on second with one out for Mitch Trees. The pitch. Ground ball to short. Seeger to first. Rizzo scoops it. Sparks does get to third on the play. All right, 3-2 pitch on Drew Mendoza with two outs to the rookie. The pitch. Line drive up the middle. Seeger makes the catch, inning over. But it's the Cincinnati Reds that strike first in game two. One nothing Reds. All right, they have a run on second with two outs. Peterson looks like he stole second base. All right, Alex Gordon, the two two pitch from Lorenzen, ground ball to second, Sparks to first, inning over. Still one nothing Cincinnati after two. And Jesse Winker with a two run blast. Who got on base? Was it Hernandez or? Who knows? Maybe even Lorenzen. Who got on base? Oh, Blankenhorn got a hit. Oh, duh. 333. He got a hit. All right. Let's just see what Brandon Doolin does this time. The 1 1 pitch to the first baseman. Deep center field. Oh, I was got really excited for a second there. All right. 3 0 Cincinnati after three innings. And it looks Jock Peterson cuts the lead to two. After four, it is three to one. And after five, it is three to one. Lorenzen has thrown 67 pitches. He's not up in the order. He will go for the sixth. And they get first and second with nobody out. So we will warm up someone in the bullpen. Oh, who will it be? Will it be Yimi Garcia against his former team? What about, let's go with Antonio Espinosa. All right, we'll just get him loose. All right, Lorenzen against Corey Seager. Struck him out. All right, so now double play ends the inning. 3-2 pitch to Yasiel Puig. Oh, he walked him. Okay, 1-2 to Jock Peterson now. Mm, the pitch. Struck him out, and there are two away. And that will be Anthony Rizzo. The pitch to the first baseman. Right field. Oh, he won't get there to base hit. Sachini scores. Castro stops at second. All right, we will put in Antonio Espinosa to face Alex Gordon. 3-2 pitch by Espinosa. Oh, uh, he has 480 this season. The 3 2 pitch. Runners go. Fly ball. Right field. Hernandez makes the play. And he just saved several runs there. Possibly even three. And it is three to two Reds after. <sighs> Woo. Uh, <laughs> wow. Great play by Ivan Hernandez, saving a run. All right, they've got some righties coming up. We'll put in Yumi Garcia for the... Okay, come on. Pitchers, there we go. Or how about Michael Fulmer? Let's put in Michael Fulmer for the next half inning. Um, all right, we got runner in second with two outs. We will pinch hit with... Against... The righty, so we will pinch hit Ivan, or not Ivan Bell, Keenan Bell for Antonio Espinosa, trying to give us one of those runs back. All right, 1 0 pitch, ground ball, Castro to first, inning over. Okay. Still 3 2 Cincinnati. 
And Michael Fulmer will pitch the seventh against the eight, nine, and one slots. Nothing going. Okay, so they have right, left, right. So it'll be Kelvin Herrera for the eighth. Nothing going for the Reds in the top of the inning. In the bottom of the inning, Kelvin Herrera, who saved game one. Nothing going for them. So in the ninth, we will have Araldus Chapman. Pitch to the left, left, left. Good matchup for us. And pitcher's not up for a bit. All right. Araldus Chapman on in to try to give Cincinnati a 2-0 lead in the series. The 1-2 pitch to Jock Peterson. Eventually, he's 2-3 for three today. Yeah, yeah, 1-2 pitch. Struck him out. One out. 2-2 two, two now to Rowdy Tellez, the first baseman. Struck him out as well. And now, last chance will be Asmani Grandal pinch hitting for Gordon. No hits in 12 at-bats. Ground ball to short as a pinch hitter. Mendoza to first. And Cincinnati has a 2-0 series lead. The upstart Cincinnati Reds go into Dodger Stadium and take two games. From the Los Angeles Dodgers, who, if I am right, just a sec, let me check the Dodgers' history. Were they last year's world champs? Oh, wow. Okay, that's... Okay, they last won the championship in 2018, so not last year, but the year before. Okay. They've been to the playoffs every year since 2013. Wow. I miss it for a big stretch there, three years. Okay, they've been in the playoffs every year since 2013, and now in 2020, they are one out away from elimination. All right, so let's see how the day went, or how the two days went in baseball. As Okay, Cash Case can come back off the DL, but you know what? I don't think we want him. Well, do we want him over Noah Campbell? Campbell can play short and second pretty well. Case can play short, second, and center. That's pretty valuable. So we'll put... We will... Okay, we'll we'll just wait till the begin in the middle of the series because I don't think it'll let us right now. Okay, can we... All right, so he's on the active roster. He's not on the playoff roster. Uh, let's see. Can we remove? Oh, okay. My bad. Campbell wasn't on the playoff roster. So do we want... We'll keep Perez... We'll keep our infielders as it is right now. Because... I don't think we need we definitely don't need the extra infielder and I liked how everyone's done so far. So let's see how the last two games went. Detroit and Chicago are tied. Boston is up to nothing on Seattle. Miami's up to nothing on New York, and Cincinnati's up to nothing on Los Angeles. Game three from Great American Ballpark. Maya Spreen is back. He will start game three. Eduardo Rodriguez, the lefty, will take on this predominantly lefty Dodgers lineup, hoping to send Cincinnati to the ALCS. First inning, nothing going for either team. Oh, and a solo home run for Yasiel Puig makes it one nothing Los Angeles. Now a first and second, same inning. Ground ball is short. Mendoza to second for one. Back to first. Hmm. Excuse me. Double play. Inning over. But one nothing Los Angeles. Oh fuck. Okay, it looks like Blanket Horn can play short. Right after I say, Oh, we don't need the extra second base or we don't need the extra shortstop. Fucking shortstop gets hurt. Okay, Blanket Horn or Press. Press has better arm double play, but not as good range. Blanket Horn Alright, I want Perez in at shortstop. Alright, so he's on first right now for Eduardo Rodriguez with two outs. 
Okay, the pitch to Rodriguez, who can really help himself out. Line drive to right field. Base hit! Trees coming around. He scores, and the pitcher, Eduardo Rodriguez, ties the game 1-2-1. One, one. And now Hernandez can give the Reds the lead. The 1-2 pitch to the rookie center fielder. Castro makes it to first inning over. So... Wait, do they go to first or second? They go to second. Okay. But Eduardo Rodriguez ties the game for the Cincinnati Reds. What? Oh, wait. He's supposed to be at shortstop. Never mind. Unless you can play shortstop. No. All right. Back to second base with you. I messed up. Third base to my spring. Okay. Jeff Brigham, the pitcher. There's nothing going for the... Dodgers, nothing going for the Reds. Nothing going for the Dodgers. Nothing going for the Reds. All right, Gordon with a leadoff double here in the fifth. Now 3-2 to Vasquez. Line drive, left center field. Hernandez can't make the play. Gordon scores. It's an RBI double for Christian Vasquez. 2-1 Los Angeles. Now the pitcher spot, Jeff Brigham's probably going to bunt. Bunting to right side, Doolin to third, and they got Vasquez. What a play by Doolin to get the runner out at third on the bunt. Okay, it'll be Garen Sicini, the pitch. Base hit, of course. Okay, now first and second with one out. The 1-0 pitch to Castro. Fly ball, deep center field. Hernandez makes the catch. Bring him, tags, and advances to third. All right, first and third, two outs for the shortstop Seeger. Fly ball, deep left field. Winker makes the play. Okay, so the Dodgers take the lead. Rodriguez at 83 pitches. You can probably go another, but just to be safe. No, in fact, since we have... Okay, never mind. We're going... They have... Right, and then a bunch of lefties. So we will put in Matzik. And for batters go, we'll, against the righty, we'll put in Keenan Bell. Okay. Can we get anything going? No, we cannot. Okay, Matzik will come into the game. Nothing going for them there. All right, who we want to go to the seventh? They have lefty. Okay, we'll start off with Matzik, and then we'll bring in Garcia. Okay, anything going for us? Nope. So he'll face Gordon, the 2-2 pitch. Fly ball, short center field. Hernandez makes a play out number one. And we will put in Yimi Garcia. For the rest of the inning, nothing going for them there. Okay, the eighth inning, we want... Uh, How did Griggs do this season? Not that well. Okay. They have right, left, right, and it's the heart of their order, so we're going to bank that Herrera. We won't need Herrera and Chapman tomorrow. We don't get anything going there. Okay, Herrera for the eighth Nothing going. Okay, pitcher swat is up first, so do they have lefties coming up? Yes, they do, so we'll put in Chapman again, and our batters against the righty C-Sheck. We will bat with... Oh, we don't actually have any right-handed pinch hitters. Whoops! Okay, we'll bat with Blank and Horn. Can we get something going here in the bottom of the eighth? No, we can't. Love the middle of the order up in the ninth. Chapman shuts him down. Okay, Jesse Winker leads off here in the ninth. Fly ball, deep left field. Foul ball, and okay. Rain delay. Fantastic. 37 minutes. All right. Ready to keep going, Jesse Winker? Dominic Leone will pitch now. The 2-2 two -two pitch, or he might have already been in. I don't know. Pitch to, come on, just get it going. Deep right field. Peterson. 
Oh, he makes the play. Damn it. All right, it'll be Brandon Doolin, who's been huge all series long. The 2-2 pitch fucking struck out. I'll be Taylor Sparks. Last chance for Cincinnati. The 0-2 pitch. Fly ball right field. Twisting to the line. Base hit. Oh, you idiot. Oh, he made the final out after getting a base hit. Oh, no. Come on, dude. All right, so the home team has not won yet. All right, Mets win game three, and Boston and Detroit had an off day. All right. <sighs> and uh, we have an injury. So from our active roster, we will activate Cash Case wherever his ass is. We have to place Mendoza on the disabled list. For that to happen. Right, there we go. Okay. So we'll just insert case at shortstop and see if Zach Wheeler can send us to the NLCS. From Great American Ballpark, the home team is not one yet this series. It's a solo home run for Jock Peterson. That's just how last game started. Another solo home run for Anthony Rizzo. God, come on. Zach Wheeler gives up. Th Ground ball left side. My screen to first. Anyway, he gives up two solo home runs and then a double. And the 2 2 pitch to Sachini. Strike him out. Okay. Well, we need the offense to get going as the home team once again is down. And another home run. Come on, Zach Wheeler. Another! He's given up four home runs. Five. Okay. We're getting him out of there. God, he has just been awful today. He's up five solo home runs. Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Seven nothing. Kurt Hayer enters the game. I'll just go half inning by half inning. I want to get this done with as quickly as possible. 10 nothing. 10 nothing. Dodgers win it. Our pitching staff does not come through clutch. And now the home team continues to look for their first win of this series. Okay, let's check the playoffs. 2-2 two, two in that game, too. Boston sweeps and Detroit wins. Okay, game five from Los Angeles. Just let me save real quick. It'll be Anthony Desclafani versus AJ Cole, or whatever his name is. Okay, can the... Road team pull out one more win from Los Angeles. Here we go. Lead off or a single and a stolen base for Ivan Hernandez. 3-2 pitch to Maya Spreen. Fly ball to right field. Puig mm, doesn't make the play. It's a two-run home run for Seth Maya Breen. Back from his injury, and he gives Cincinnati a 2 nothing lead in the top of the first. And now they have runners on first and second with nobody out. It'll be Taylor Sparks now. The Reds uh, making some noise in the first. Loft to center field. Oh, Gordon makes a sliding catch. Okay, now it'll be Kyle Tucker, the 2-0 pitch to the young one. I don't know if he's still a rookie, but it's into center field, a base hit. Winker, we will not try to score him. Bases are loaded with one out for Mitch Trees. The 2-2 pitch. Come on. Pop up. Damn it. Okay. It'll be Cash Case with two outs. Can he get some more runs? Ground ball to first. And we waste a good opportunity in the first. But we do get some runs. It is 2-0 after one. All right, they have first and second with two outs. The one-two pitch to Christian Vasquez. Line drive, deep left center field. 
Winker can't make the play. Okay, Gordon stops at third. It's 2-1 now. Oh, he had a good chance to strike him out. It'll be A.J. Cole now. The pitch, ground ball, third base, my screen to first inning over. So, Los Angeles cuts the run in half, the 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 lead in half with a run. It is 3 to 1 now after a solo home run by Jesse Winker. And now they're first and third with one out. Can we not waste this opportunity this time? Fly ball deep left field. Gordon makes the catch. Sparks scores. It is 4 to 1 Cincinnati. Okay. And Anthony Desclafani with it uh, looks like a hit and a bunt pushed him over. All right, strikeout by Seth Myers Breen. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Hit by Winker gets hit. Charged him out. Was that a second home run of the game? Did he hit? No, Myers Breen hit in the first inning. Ground ball up the middle. Castro to first inning over. Nothing going in the fourth for Cincinnati or for Los Angeles. All right, Kyle Tucker on second with one out. The one-two pitch to Mitch Trees. Struck him out. All right. Damn it, Mitch. All right, cash case. Has not had a hit yet in the series, and they will walk him. To face Anthony Descalfani, who did get a hit earlier. The 3-0 pitch. Or it wasn't a hit. It was a walk, actually. 3-0 pitch. Walked him again. Bases are loaded with two outs for Ivan Hernandez. The one-two pitch. He's one for three. Ground ball. Rizzo. Makes the play. Inning over. Still 4-1 Cincinnati. Descafani's at 68 pitches. Gordon on second with two outs. He's now at 82 pitches. The 3-2 pitch to Sashini. Ground ball. Sparks to first. Inning over. I think... Oh, wow. Barely beat him. Anyway, okay. I think we can send him out for the sixth. But he gets into some trouble here. Okay, Anthony Rizzo with two outs. The 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. Tenth strikeout on the day for Descafani. That'll be it for him. One run on five hits while Cincinnati leads 4-1. to one. Okay, Los Angeles has left, right, and left. So we will put in... Uh, we'll put in Matt Sick again. He's done a pretty good job this series so far. All right, Matzik will pitch the seventh. Nothing going. Okay, right, left, right. Herrera will pitch eighth, and Chapman will pitch the ninth. And batting for uh, Matzik against the righty, which we do have a backup. We do have a bench right-hander. Perez was just playing. Last time I had to check. Okay, we'll put Keenan Bell. Ah, sorry for my rambling. In for Matzik. Nothing going there. It will now be Kelvin Herrera for the eighth. Runner in second with one out. The 0-2 pitch to Yasiel Puig. Struck him out. And it will be Jock Peterson. The 2-2 pitch. Ground ball in front of the plate. Doolin to first out and Cincinnati Reds are three outs away from the National League Championship Series nothing going in the top of the ninth bottom of the ninth Araldis Chapman takes the mound first up Anthony Rizzo the one-two pitch eventually after Tells me everything I need to know about these guys. The pitch struck him out. Two outs to go. 0 oh, 2 pitch to Alex Gordon. Struck him out. One out to go. Christian Vasquez batting against Chapman. The 1 2 pitch. He struck him out. And the Cincinnati Reds are advancing to the National League Championship Series. The home team could not win a single game. Reds win games one and two, lose games three and four at home, but take game five. Oh, Anthony Descafani definitely deserves series MVP. Great pitching on the roads in games one and five. He was clutch. Oh, what a game. What a series. Cincinnati wins as Araldis Chapman strikes out the side 
to end the series. We will be facing the Miami Marlins in the National League Championship Series. Game one is today. No rest day. Direct turnaround. Okay. So pitching for us, we will have Michael Lorenzen, who is ready to go, but our bullpen is a bit depleted. Let's check out this Miami team. Miami also won game five. Their pitching staff is headed by Jose Fernandez, who is a beast. Just so good. Pitching staff behind Hernandez or Fernandez doesn't look great. Bullpen looks pretty suspect as well. Riley Pint looks like their best reliever. Alright, their lineup. Okay. They have Yellick, Cardenas, Munoz, Stanton. Wow, this lineup. The top three are all four and a half or four and a half or above. Yeah, and JT Romito's their backup catcher. Just kidding. Cardenas is three and a half, but still. Top of this order is really good. And so, just like the Dodgers, we are going to be facing a star studded lineup. <sighs> Well, that's for next episode. I'm happy with how this one went. The Cincinnati Reds take down the Los Angeles Dodgers. Next episode, we have the National League Championship Series against the Miami Marlins. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really exciting episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.